and the sense of failure. And even though you know you've, you've not deserved it, you've not done anything that's caused it, you feel like a failure. And that was probably the strongest thing that I will remember from today. I think sometimes folks get sent to social services just because of the name social services, yet there are limits to what that agency can provide. And so they come hopeful that uh, their need is going to be answered there and, and spend the money to get there, and then it's just another dead end for them. And that's so frustrating when your resources are slim and your time is slimmer to find out, well, no, this isn't where you need to be. And the journey continues and it's just so frustrating for them. The eye-opening thing was uh, the process that you had to go through and how frustrating it can be and how different people respond to you. But I think one of the other things that came out of it to me is how people relate to you. And when you're in a social situation like that, you don't have anyone to talk to or share with or spend time with, and you feel lonely and depressed. My wife, her six brothers and sisters, and I grew up at Holston Home in Greenville, Tennessee. Uh, married right out of there at 18. Pretty soon we found ourselves uh, with two little babies and her 14-year-old brother, and I had to feed them. And what this event took me back today was those days when I had to hold down four, sometimes five, 50 cent an hour jobs to feed the family. We found more ways of uh, cooking oatmeal and peanut butter at the end of the month. And it was a constant struggle, it was a constant risky business. We never knew whether we are gonna make that $35 a month rent payment or not. It took us 20 years to get an education and get to where we could buy a house and a new car. And it, I know how much of a struggle it is, and that's what this meant to me, going back to those days when, without a whole lot of people picking up and giving us a hand, we wouldn't have made it. It hasn't. It hasn't. I don't think it's gotten a bit easier. I think in a lot of ways it's gotten harder. I would say it's gotten harder because there's uh, much more risk to society now. Society doesn't have the standards it used to have. Uh, children are more in danger when they go to school. They're in danger of being attacked. I mean, I have uh, children who won't let their children go play in a playground without them being there. And uh, so there's all kinds of risk to a family. Drugs is the biggest thing. And uh, not, not the biggest thing necessarily, but it's the biggest thing that comes to mind right now. There are just so many more threats to the family and less breaks on them. I mean, it, as hard as it was for us economically, the community was secure. It was safe. And there were plenty of people that, that knew who you were, they'd reach out and give you a helping hand instead of trying to do something bad to you. And I think a lot of that goes on with that. Today's experience was truly life-changing or attitude-changing, let's put it that way. And some of the feelings that we experienced were a feeling of being a loser, frustrated, anxious, scary, scared, and at a loss for knowing what to do, where to go, I would like to think that if I were under the stresses, which are so obvious in poverty, that I would have noble responses. But to relieve that stress, I could not tell you that I would not fall into habits of pot smoking, drinking too much, taking illegal drugs. and. I would love to say I could, but these, I just can't tell you how real this experience made the stresses of poverty, homelessness, hopelessness, not knowing what to do or where to go can make a person feel. And as someone said, no one wants to feel like a failure and a loser. 
And when you are at the poverty level, I don't know how you could avoid that feeling. So we were challenged to commit to share this message, to be a part of the solution. And I think everyone who attended today, I know everyone who attended today has been changed. Our hearts have been softened, our knowledge increased, and we need to put that into action. So it was a, uh, in, on one hand, it was a wonderful experience because it was so broadening and meaningful, which is an overused word, but it truly was. So I just thank everybody who was a part of putting this on and just feel like I'm a different person.